The U.S. Citizenship Test assesses a naturalization applicant's knowledge of U.S. government, history, and geography. The exam is given verbally during the U.S. Citizenship Interview. There are 100 questions in the Citizenship Test. During the interview, the immigration officer will ask the applicant 10 questions out of the 100, and the applicant must answer 6 correctly in order to pass the civics test. In this video you will find all 100 questions and correct answers for the civics test. The questions are organized into the following categories. American Government American History Integrated Civics Easy to learn and remember. Boundless tip. If you are 65 years or older and have been a green card holder for 20 or more years, you only need to study the questions marked with an asterisk. Group 1. American Government. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech Who is in charge of the executive branch? The President What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life, Liberty What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights What is an amendment? A change to the Constitution. What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Name your U.S. representative. The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. Note, District of Columbia residents and those living in U.S. territories should answer that D.C. or the territory where they live has no House representatives. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27 What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy We elect a president for how many years? Four The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. What does the Constitution do? Sets up the government. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Who makes federal laws? Congress.
How many U.S. Senators are there? 100 Who is the Commander-in-Chief of the Military? The President Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. Note, District of Columbia residents and those living in U.S. territories should answer that D.C., or the territory where they live, has no senators. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. What did the Declaration of Independence do? Announced our independence from Great Britain. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and House of Representatives. Name two cabinet level positions Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Education. In what month do we vote for president? November Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. Name one promise you make when you become a U.S. citizen. Obey the laws of the United States. Name two major political parties in the United States. Democratic and Republican. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435 If both the President and the Vice President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Speaker of the House What is the name of the President of the United States now? Joe Biden If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Vice President Who signs bills to become laws? The President. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election.
Who vetoes bills? The president. Who is the chief justice of the United States now? John Roberts. What is the capital of your state? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. D.C. residents should answer that D.C. isn't a state and therefore doesn't have a capital. Residents of U.S. territories must name the capital of their territory. Name one power of the federal government. To print money. Who is the governor of your state now? The answer will vary based on where the applicant lives. D.C. residents should answer that D.C. doesn't have a governor. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Mike Johnson. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. Describe one of the four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What age do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. What is the political party of the president now? Democratic Party. Name two rights of everyone living in the U.S. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. What date is the last day you can submit federal income tax forms? The date is typically on or around April 15th. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. Name one power of the states. Provide schooling and education. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Name one responsibility that is only for U.S. citizens. Serve on a jury. Name two ways that U.S. citizens can participate in their democracy. Vote, join a political party. When must all men register for the selective service? At 18.
Group 2. American History. Name one reason colonists came to America. Freedom. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. When was the Constitution written? 1787. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Name one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for. U.S. Diplomat Name three of the 13 original states. New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania Name one of the writers of the Federalist Papers. James Madison When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776 Name one war fought by the U.S. in the 1800s. Civil War Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes, taxation without representation. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. Who is considered the father of our country? George Washington. Name one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did. Freed the Slaves, Emancipation Proclamation Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War One. What major event happened on September 11, 2001, in the U.S.? Terrorists attacked the United States.
Who was the first president? George Washington. Which group of people was taken to the U.S. and sold as slaves? Africans. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for women's rights. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? World War II. Name one Native American tribe in the United States. Cherokee. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil Rights Movement During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? Communism Group 3 Integrated Civics Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. Missouri River Name one state that borders Mexico. California What is the name of the national anthem? The Star-Spangled Banner Name two national U.S. holidays President's Day, Independence Day When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. What ocean is on the west coast of the U.S.? Pacific Ocean Name one U.S. territory. Guam Where is the Statue of Liberty? New York Harbor
What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? Atlantic Ocean Name one state that borders Canada. New York What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states.